out of the plate, Billy Anderson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Yeah you could tell he was ready for another fastball but the pitcher went to breaking ball. And, and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Now batting right fielder Billy. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. On the ground to second base, this could be two. One there, on to first, and they get the double play. Anderson. to the plate now Billy Anderson as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far ready with the nothing in one pitch another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2 hit the other way out toward right field. Decker is there to put it away for route number one. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Gwinnett jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Clark Schmidt will come on in relief here and appear in game nine. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. 5 2, the final score tonight. And stepping in, Bryce Terang, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker, strike one. Not the best change up there, an easy take. Temperature at first pitch, there it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Tough ruling, but it's out number one. Into the box now, Lucas Ersek. On a line, that's a base hit. And this one will bounce into the wall. He'll get it into second. Mora. At the plate, Caesar Mora. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. In now, David Fry. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Good pitch there, had him a little out in front. And a sinker, called strike three as he's rung up, and the side is retired. Standing in now, Bo Naylor. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 
comes in here right at 260. Five homers and 31 RBIs. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping in now, Austin Dean. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Eight home runs, 27 driven in. Behind 0 and 2 now. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Got it, got it. So now to the plate, Nick Decker. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Sanchez is there. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Derek Fisher. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Five homers and 15 RBIs. Very weakly on the ground. Here it comes on nothing and two. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0 2 home. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. At the plate, Johan Beltran. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. One down. One down. Here comes another 0 2. Popped him up. Alexander over to his right, and that's the second out of the inning. Into the box, Bryce Terang. And so come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. And it's quickly 0-2. Third inning, no score to this point. And another foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Lifted down the line and left. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ramos is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Anderson. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. And that's the second out. In now, Lucas Ersig. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Here's the pitch. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, one and, two, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. So now to the plate, David Fry. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 1, went down looking his first time up. Skied into very shallow right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end. To the plate now, Bo Naylor. As he'll go after that time and falls behind nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Grounded to short. He's got it. And the off balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. Now into the box now. Austin Dean. 
as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Bases are empty, one man out. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. At the plate, Nick Decker. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now, this is hit not all that hard out to second. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. Derek Fisher the next to bat. And he'll bounce one on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is... Well Stepping in now, Johan Beltran. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He popped out in his first trip. A ball and a strike. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. A ball and two strikes now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. In now, Bryce Terang. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he lays off for ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ballgame. Lucas Ersig swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout. Now batter. Into the box, Billy Anderson, Anderson. Line to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Standing in now, Caesar Mora. And he puts it on the ground to second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. At the plate now, David Fry. Hit back up the middle. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. Into the box now. No nailer. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's a 6-1 game. So now to the plate. Austin Dean. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Off speed pitch just missed inside. This is why the manager pencils these guys in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. On to first. A double play. To the plate now. Nick Decker. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Line drive base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Into the box, Derek Fisher. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Ned Grimes is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Wow, what a week for these guys. 
Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven. Well, as prospects make their way up the minor league ranks, there are a lot of challenges they have to deal with, and not all of them are on the field. I've got Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline with me today, and Jonathan, a lot of the toughest obstacles are the mental ones. Uh, w without question, there's so much that goes into being a, a minor leaguer. Uh, you know, first and foremost, wanting to know when that call is going to come. We've all seen really talented prospects. Standing in now, Billy Anderson. In the air now, out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch and ends the inning. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Decker is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Anderson. <laughs> At the plate, Billy Anderson as he lifts it in the air to right field. And that will fall as he comes through. It's a base hit. One run scores. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Hey, which is normally the case in these close ones. You have a one-run game, a two-one decision. Really good pitching and defense in this one, and a lot of really good execution made this a fun game to watch. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. To the plate now, Billy Anderson, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Grounded weakly toward third, right to him. And there's out number two. At the plate now, Billy Anderson. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw in time at first for route number two. Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson, as he lines it out to center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory.
A coach draws a player's attention to a recent trend in his numbers. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson. High in the air down the right field line. Cespedes is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Billy to the plate Anderson. now Billy Anderson high in the air out to center field Stowers is there two gone at the plate now Billy Anderson as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play he's got two hits in four at bats here's the 0 1 pitch oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this one onto the bag at first, and that will conclude matters here as the ball game is over. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Tides wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. And now here is Domingo Marquez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. The bouncer to the left side. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So now to the plate, Adam Hall. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Two home runs and 43 RBIs. On to first, and there were two down. In now, Robert Byrne. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 281, the average entering play. Two home runs and 22 RBIs. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. Next to bat is Tristan Casas. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 22 home runs on the ledger for him so far this year. Hit back toward the mound, and that'll get on by into the center field for a leadoff single. Standing in now, Christopher Cespedes. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. And a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's one and two now. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. He froze him on the fastball there. Christopher Cespedes goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. And he struck him out. Francisco. Stepping in now, Arturo Francisco. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. 
And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Here it comes, 0 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. to the plate now Claudio Lopez as he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one swung on and missed that strike two man if I'm on the mound right now these guys are swinging at everything you just want to try and paint the corners and the two out threat won't pay off the inning is Navarro. into the box now Dan Navarro that softly hit to right will that get down Hernandez has it and it's a quick out number one into the box Domingo Marquez as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike 0 for 1 for him here in this one hit hard towards center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. At the plate, Adam Hall, as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the ball. Goes down for out number two in the top half. And it's fouled away. Another 0-2 coming. This one's down to third. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. Got him. In now, Tristan Casas. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He singled in his first A-B. Now a swinging bunt. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Now Standing in now, Christopher Cespedes. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moran is there now, and he has it, two gone. At the plate now, Gunnar Henderson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A ball and a strike now. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an air. Francisco. Stepping in now, Arturo Francisco, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. One for one with a single so far. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first no out. Play. Into the box, Claudio Lopez. Nope. Ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's 1 and 1. Keeping it down here as it's to 1 and 2. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Bouncer to the left side. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. So now to the plate, Dan Navarro. 0 and 1 the count. Fouled off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. The second for one. On to first as they get the double. To the plate now, Domingo Marquez, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. 
Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Now a check swing, and he went around, says the home plate umpire. Tough ruling, but it's out number one. Adam Hall is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. In now, Robert Byrne. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Reined in. Throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Tristan Casas. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Stepping in now, Christopher Cespedes. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. At the plate, Gunnar Henderson. As he takes a called strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Fouled away. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he's got himself another one. Is he? Francisco. At the plate now, Arturo Francisco popped up. Alexander is calling for it, but it's the pitcher that makes the play. And there's one away now. To the plate now, Claudio Lopez. No balls and a strike to count. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Into the box, Dan Navarro. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Chopped on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So now to the plate, Domingo Marquez. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. In now, Adam Hall. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. That evens it up one and one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. And he fouls this one off. Marquez gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hit on the ground toward the left. Fielded cleanly to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Standing in now, Robert Byrne. There's one on to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. And tonight's ends as a 3 nothing shutout win. Gwinnett jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Billy Anderson earns win number seven on the season. Connor Green was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
at the plate Billy Anderson he grounds it sharply to third one there relay to first in time and just like that this side is Anderson. Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. Down the line and fair, that's a hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now back, the designated hitter. Into the box Billy now, Billy Anderson. Anderson. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And a long run, but he gets there, and that's good range in the outfield as there are two guns. Now back, the designated hitter, Billy Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson grounded back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Man, we were treated to a nice pitcher's duel in this one. Both starters throwing strikes. They work deep. to the plate now Billy Anderson hard hit ball to second but right there is the second baseman and that will retire the side now batting right fielder come Billy on baby one time here we Anderson. go At the plate now, Billy Anderson. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the runner will score from second. And the second run will score as well. Anderson. Into the box, Billy Anderson. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Standing in now, now Billy Anderson. 
He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Stowers gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. 5-2 the final score tonight. Norfolk capitalized on a huge seventh inning on the way to the win. John Schreiber earns his third win of the year in relief. Will Frazier hammers down the save his 30th. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. Anderson. At the plate, Billy Anderson lifted in the air to center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Anderson. <laughs> Stepping in now, Billy Anderson. He swings and grounds it to short. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Now that designated hitter, Billy Anderson. So now to the plate, Billy Anderson as he grounds one briskly to short. There's one on to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Anderson. Into the box now, Billy Anderson. Soft liner to the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of error. The two-way experiment rolls on for this player. He's done well so far, and there's a lot of buzz that he may get a call to the majors pretty soon, but the jury is still out on whether he can sustain success as a two-way player long-term. Mike Lowell is with me today. Mike, thanks for joining us. What's your take on it? Well, I'm fascinated by the talent that this young man shows. Uh, from my experience, I found it so hard to get to the big leagues, and I didn't even care about pitching. You know, <laughs> my, my thing was very focused. So I, I'm, I'm so intrigued to see how you can, how this young man can react once he gets to the big leagues because it is so precise. And I think the, the preparation, the work, and what you have to accomplish to be a pitcher from one end and then a position player on another end at the big league level is so demanding that it's almost, you know, that double trouble for you. But the talent level is there. And I think that's what catches so many, so many people's eyes that could this be the next guy like a Shohei Otani that can actually contribute on both sides of the field? It's going to be very interesting to see how this all pans out.